Get Sports Focus is presented by Dr. Ting, sports medicine and orthopedic surgery. Kaylee Chris here with your GSF College Game Recap. Stanford hosted its first of three back-to-back -back conference games at the farm. Saturday evening, it was the University of Arizona's turn to try to knock the Cardinal off their game. But as the 55-17 score show, that didn't quite work. In the first quarter, it looked as if the Wildcats may have found an answer to Kevin Hogan and his arsenal of weapons that seemed to always find themselves in the end zone. They held Stanford to two field goal kicks. Conrad Ukropina was successful from 38 and 41 yards. That is until Christian McCaffrey got the offensive ball rolling. Hogan hit a 32-yard pass to Devin Kajus, and two plays later, McCaffrey takes the ball in for a four-yard touchdown. At the end of one, it seemed Arizona still had a chance, only down 14-0. Then Stanford's offense unloaded, scoring six more times in the game. Staying true to the last few games, running back Raymond Wright had two one-yard rushing TDs, but his biggest score of the night was a 16-yard reception from Hogan just before the half, which would extend the score to 27-3. Wide receiver Michael Rector saw some action with four receptions for 72 yards and a nice 18-yard touchdown. And a handoff to Barry Sanders resulted in a one-play, 65-yard score. While the offense was on fire, the defense did their job as well, holding Arizona to just 17 points. Inside linebacker Blake Martinez continues to run all over opposing teams, this time with 13 tackles against U of A, currently leading the nation in tackles per game with 12.6. Stepping in for injured Kevin Anderson was Joey Alfieri, who had five tackles of his own. Aziz Shitu and Brennan Scarlett continued to play at a high level as well. As expected with this type of performance, their AP Top 25 ranking continues to climb. They are now at 16, the highest ranked Pac-12 team besides number five, Utah. Now as they head into a bye week, they focus on recovery. However, their sights are still set on welcoming UCLA to Stanford Stadium Thursday night, October 15th.